What is going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today, we're going to talk to you about SoFi. I want to go over some of the current data points, break it down on what just came out associated to the company itself, and go over everything else you need to know. But first, make sure you hit that thumbs up. And with that, let's get right to it. So right now, it is up 3.59%. 30.4 million shares being traded, 46.3 is the average. So the market is rallying largely because of optimism carried forward from last Friday associated to rate cuts. So that's one thing that's really driving the market higher. But in SoFi's case, big money is actually buying, whereas a lot of other stocks is kind of hollow. So algorithmic trading is just pumping them up. But in SoFi's case, big money is buying because they saw something that they liked. So these are some of the transactions that have occurred so far on the secondary market above $100,000. Majority, with exception of this one right here, is a buy. So big money is absolutely loving what they saw. And that was a form four that was submitted first thing at 602. And so ultimately that is this right here. So good old Anthony Noto did buy shares on May the 3rd, 28,000 and change at $6 and 90 cents. It was transaction code P. So it wasn't awarded shares. It was physically him buying $200,000 worth of stock. And I do believe that this is the highest price he's actually ever bought. Typically in the past, it's been like the four or $5 range never at this price. So in my opinion, this is extremely bullish. I actually did a video on the second, so the day before this, saying that SoFi needed to do one of two things. And one of those two things was Anthony buying. So he clearly listened to what people wanted. And yeah, so this in reality is absolutely amazing. And big money is seeing a lot of good value in this because this is a huge sentiment, right? Like the fact that the CEO himself is seeing value at this price or these prices, I guess, then yeah, why the hell shouldn't uh, Kathy Wood and many others buy? So probably Kathy Wood being the sheep she is, unfortunately, I'm not really a big fan of her, but probably she will kind of disclose that she did buy today. So let me know your thoughts on that. Aside from this form four, there hasn't been any actual news itself. So yeah, pretty interesting stuff uh, when it comes down to it. I actually did buy a little bit of stock. So I did do a video on Friday saying that I sold roughly about the 10,000 or almost 11,000 shares. And I did buy back 3,000 today at $7.17, not to the full value. Of course, I sold it at exactly $7.22. So still saved some money, but you know what? I really liked this form four that came out. It really shows a big commitment. So let me know your thoughts if you are the same, if you did buy today or whatever else. Let's go over some data points though, starting off with shorts. So shorts, clearly giving up somewhat 1.07 million shares 20.24 percent of the free flow is being shorted 200.87 million shares overall are being shorted then cost of our average is 1.04 percent utilization 87.58 and currently through interactive broker short availability does indicate around 2.8 million shares overall are being shorted so very interesting stuff i did do a pre-market video and i said just based on the optimism alone and that form four it was a clear indication that shorts were going to return some shares today. So we'll just have to wait and see tomorrow if that does continue or not. But yeah, I think this is absolutely epic. And this whole week, as I said in my video yesterday, is more of a technical driven week with the exception of a couple data points here and there. But for the most part, it is the technicals. And in SoFi's case, it did get over a very strong resistance point today. So I'm going to talk about that. Let's talk on options first, though. So $4.79 million in calls, 879 in puts. So a lot of money is getting into SoFi today through options. 48% of all the options being done today are optimistic and bullish, which is kind of signaling for it to be roughly about the 750 mark. And then looking at at puts, you do see consensus for it to be sub $7. So risk versus reward, very much in favor of upside, in my opinion. And just to give you an overview of the open interest, because this has been something kind of annoying in the past. So as it stands with it above $7, kind of, uh, you'll see ultimately maybe market makers trying to suppress it below $7 once again. But currently 16,000 in open interest at that 7, 19 at 750, and then 14,000 at that $8 strike price, and then smaller, smaller, whatever else. So hopefully SoFi does get to the higher end closer to 750, 
This is where the market makers might start to just cover and admit defeat because that means they'll have to go to the open market to buy these essentially 1.6 million shares. So pretty interesting stuff. If you ask me, dark pool, very, very popular as usual. So these are all the transactions. So the market's been open about, was it three hours? Just shy of about three hours. So a lot of transactions when it comes down to that. So right now with it at $7.20, it was successful in getting above this pivot point right here of $7.11. So in theory, assuming it can close above that today and carry that into tomorrow, then the technicals are gonna look a okay for it to be hopefully touching this r1 for this week because like i said this whole week is going to be more of a technical driven week the following week so next week that's where things get kind of touchy because cpi is going to be coming out and you know how the market is with cpi so right now assuming it can hold this then things look very very good it is still wanting to transition into the higher percentile not really enough in the market right now to push it higher but still regardless it is looking fairly steady and I would actually prefer to have this type of technicals rather than just a quick spike up and then obviously a retracement like a lot of people like a squeeze and always beg for a squeeze to happen I don't think they realize as fast as it goes up technically it won't have any support no different than what I talk on on a daily basis about algorithmic trading yeah any stock goes up and down like 6%, but there's no strong support holding it up. So as soon as the algorithmic trading is turned off, guess what happens to the stock? It tanks. More than half of the growth stocks out there are just being pumped up essentially by algorithmic trading. So it's a very unfortunate scenario, but that seems to be what 2024 is all about. As of today, you do see a nice bullish deviation, so white line above the red as well. You see it at 27, so still somewhat considered oversold. And then on the momentum indicator, you see number of retail investors getting in. So you have retail and institutions buying at the same time. So pretty exciting day. Let me know your thoughts. Did you buy today? Did you sell? And what is your thoughts on Anthony? Um, yeah, I, I know I've been kind of difficult on him over this last couple, or I guess ever since the earnings, but this is a true indication of a good CEO. My own opinion, of course. So let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And with all that, appreciate all of you watching.